love acrylics mm -hmm. and I've, I've always used Atelier acrylics. I love the texture of them and I've evolved from the old um, the old ones mm -hmm. through to the new interactive. Oh, okay. Um, they've got a, a more a longer drying time, yeah. so you have that little bit more time for blending. And with the mediums, yeah. um, like I just use a slow medium, okay. which is like a retarder of that drying time, you have that control. I think um, it's a good thing to have a lot of different brushes, like a quiver of brushes, mm -hmm. uh, for what is needed for the brush, the particular brush stroke. So when I'm painting, when I'm covering the canvas first, I'll actually use a really nice um, filbert brush, which is like a soft edge chisel. Mm -hmm. And I like the chisel because it's precise, it covers a lot, doesn't leave those those lines that the square edge chisel does, and it sure. just allows for beautiful blending okay. as well. As you can see, I'm not too concerned about straight horizons or this mm -hmm. shape as long as everything's positioned. So I've actually sketched this up um, in proportion to where I want, you know, I always want that nice composition. Uh -huh. And um, I've just given myself a bit of a guideline in here to where the thickness of the lips or the white water, the spray, and this element here is really important to me. So I mm -hmm. needed to sort of get that depth in there and just to have that blocked in, ready to work up. Excellent. Buy these little decor containers with the little lids as well, and I've found they're really helpful as well. So I do a lot of my mixing though on the canvas. Uh -huh. So with this, I like to stand. So I set up and I'll mix up my colour and I'll I'll put it down here. Uh -huh. So I think, oh, oh that cool. will come in handy, you know, for here. Yeah. And I, I like to actually have this as a working palette as well.